happening now a rapist on the hunt for women behind unlocked doors in Scottsdale tonight yeah a warning from police as they search for this attacker he's focusing on one particular part of town near 70th Street and Shea you can see the two apartment complexes he's targeted just six days apart right now let's go live to ABC 15's Christopher sign and Chris at least there's a little bit of comfort knowing this entire team of detectives is out there on this particular case Katie, half of the detectives who work in the department are now assigned to this case. And I'm about to show you a sketch of the wanted man. So take a close look at your screen because your help is needed to stop him before he strikes again. So here he is. It's believed he's in his late teens or early 20s and about 5'6 to 5'8 with a cropped afro. In the past, I've covered several serial criminals who often watch uh, news reports to figure out what exactly police know. And while they're not saying much in the way of evidence, Detectives are saying the first victim is 49 years old, the second is 29. Both victims were alone and both left their patio door unlocked. Something else, it's believed the suspect was watching the victims for a period of time, possibly figuring out their routine. Just concern, um, a little bit of angst. It's a little nerve wracking. It's very dark over here and I feel like there's, um, there's just a lot of people that live alone. I mean, these are apartments. Most people live alone. Sure. So it's just concerning. And something else noteworthy here, investigators tell us they were actually told by some people they had seen a suspicious man hanging out near some bushes prior to these attacks, but nobody called police. Steve and Katie, they say, if you see someone, call police immediately because it's their job to check out any citizens' concerns. Yeah, you never know, and you're going to have a lead that uh, really breaks the case. Thanks, Chris. Yes. Yeah, people have okay. to speak up. And other than locking up tonight, police are saying, ladies, we should have a safety plan, including an escape route, just in case you're ever confronted. If you're attacked, officers say you should scream and claw at the attacker because that could give them the DNA under your fingernails that they need to make an arrest. Just into the newsroom, a kid